It's a decade. It was the decade where Vice City was the capital of the world. Vice City FM. Vice City FM. here for you. Hey 
sexy t-shirt that says Kunilingus Instructor. Maybe it's the mud plaps on your truck with the silhouette of the naked lady. People ask me, is it better to be a DJ or a savior? I have been both, and trust me, both have their benefits. Now, we remember the great music of the 1980s. You may not believe this, but we didn't have the internet then. If you found a magazine with naked ladies in it, it was heaven, the promised land you hide it. Your mother comes into the room without knocking and you are working yourself into a froth. This, this is the American childhood I long to have. And it is how I have raised my sons.
broker last night. I say the ketchup, she is not fancy, even though it says so on the label. I am a fancy man with fancy tastes. Chuck, 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 gone. Chuck, gone. Chuck, gone. Chuck, gone. Chuck, gone. Let me rock it, let me rock it, Chuck, gone. Let me rock it, that's all I want to do. Chuck, gone. Let me rock it, let me rock it, Chuck, gone. Let me rock it, let me feel for you. Chuck, gone. What you tell me, what you want to do? Do you feel for me the way I feel for you? Chuck, gone. Let me tell you what I want to do. I want to love you, want to hug you, want to squeeze you too. So let me take it in my arm, let me feel you with my charm, Chuck, cause you know that I'm the one to keep you warm, Chuck. I make it more than just a physical dream. I want to rock you, Chuck, baby, cause you make me want to scream. Let me rock it, rock it. Sponsors and Peola are how Fernando makes money. Who's dancing now, punk? Ha, ha, ha. On the toughest streets, you've got to stay true to yourself. Hey, I want to be down with the streets, but I also want to dance. Yo, don't be dancing like that in this neighborhood. Coming to theater soon. Yeah. Popping. A kid from the wrong side of the tracks has one chance to make a difference through the incredible medium of dance. Flex, you think you can dance? You ain't even got your own steps, fool. Oh boy, you can't dance if you can't feel. You gotta learn how to feel from the heart, Flex. You mean this is a movie that seems like a tough portrayal of street life, but it's really a sissy fine, heartwarming family story? For real, homeboy, this movie is some emotional shit. Now get to dancing, Flex. Pop 
Shopping is a coming-of-age drama interwoven with elements of romance, class conflict, and the rich tradition of prancing like a ninny instead of solving things like a real man with fists or firearms. Hey, old man, teach me how you danced in the old days. Give me some montage or some flip back or some shit, man. Yo, son, you gotta dance like it means something. You dance like you sleep with men. You gotta learn to dance by walking a tightrope and humping a chair at the same time. It's how we did it in the old days. <laughs> you kids don't know how lucky you are. But back when I was your age, I had herpes. This is some real heartwarming shit right here. Son, you gonna have to get your boogie back. Yo, Flex, you can do it! Popping. The rough part of town just got its boogie back. Rated PG for patronizing Gush. Weasel News. Witnesses say it's like something out of a Vinewood movie. Jenny Acorn at the scene. That's right, Jim. It's like a Vinewood movie, only without the hokey computer-generated effects, terrible dialogue, and shitty acting. In an audacious raid, terrorists have stolen a Liberty City subway car in Broker. While it is believed that no civilians were on board the missing car at the time it was taken, authorities still urgently seek its return. One city official had this to say. It's ridiculous. We're used to people painting graffiti on our subway cars or using them as a venue for exposing themselves to women or urinating on the seats. What we don't expect is someone to steal an entire train car. Following the case of the missing subway, this is Jenny Acorn, Weasel News. Meanwhile, in our nation's capital, President Lawton made a major promise to get down to action, responding to recent criticism that he is a show pony who is simply concerned with making sure he gets favorable media coverage. Mr. Lawton made an passion speech, promising immediate results. He's setting up a task force with a website and a bleeder page to ensure things happen quickly to get everything back on track in an all-out assault on government action. Then he looked compassionate but strong and promised to continue to improve the country, reduce taxes, punish foreigners, and increase government spending in most areas, but sensibly and with one eye on what America is and another on what it could become. He received a standing ovation for the speech. Terror alert. With fear of terrorism on the rise following a spate of suspected attacks, police today reassured citizens of Liberty City that they're taking steps to keep people safe. Police official Anthony Pizzarelli had this to say to the media. We're doing a lot. Searching people on the subway. Uh, no liquids, gels or creams in your bag. Metal detectors outside bean machine coffee shops. Increasing the length of lines at immigration. Cavity searching anyone coming into the country. Barking aggressive orders at random tourists on the street. Lots of overtime, early retirement, golf. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. We're working hard to make sure you see a lot of uniforms on the street and feel safe. Getting frisked, I'm Mike Whiteley, Weasel News. This is Weasel News. The 1980s, when limos were the height of class. Pardon me, is that a mullet? Instead of a cheesy ride to your class prom, the decade of decadence is back on Vice City FM.
know, very soon we will have something interesting to talk about. Fernando's new, new beginnings. Passion has gone international. It is the global village now, and that means if the globe is the village, then the continent is the bedroom. I tell you, don't limit your fire to just one barbecue. You should grill your meat in many different ways. Here's a great song. Tear out the pages that I've got in these books just to find just some words to get some reward and it show you all the photographs that I ever got took and I play old 45s that now mean nothing to me and you. Dysfunction can start early, just when you depend on your penis the most, like a romantic encounter with your eighth grade teacher. That's why there's Mollus. Mollus removes the anxiety that can often accompany your first special times, so you can have the confidence and stamina to make an impression that lasts. 
Hey, Miss Cornelius, can I uh, see you after class? <laughs> wow, Sebastian. Looks like somebody's gonna earn an A. Ask your pediatrician about Mollus or order online from any number of disreputable Mexican pharmacists. Mollus is Vesuvius citrate and should be taken with alcohol. Mollus, prepare for the explosion. Here's the music that music producers have been ripping off for the past 10 years. Vice City FM. This song reminds me of doing cocaine off of a stripper.
Massively multiplayer online game Loot and Wang gives social idiots a world where they can be bullies without recourse while hiding away in rooms that smell like moldy coffee and socks. But those nerds may have to leave the home for a couple of hours, as Vine would announce today the movie version of Loot and Wank is in production. Fans are excited. This is going to be awesome. If they can depict what soul searching, vapid, and empty journey massively multiplayer games are, I'll be happy. But I'm sure I'll still find time to trash it on message boards anyway. Mike Whiteley, Weasel News. A Liberty City couple had a shocking end to their wedding anniversary last night when a police officer used a stun gun on them outside a restaurant in Little Italy. Kevin Hamilton was toasting his wife at the end of a romantic dinner when a passing policeman electrocuted him in the neck. When Mrs. Hamilton leapt to her feet screaming, she was also zapped to the ground. The police officer in question told reporters while he hadn't slept in a couple of days due to back-to-back -back overtime shifts and was really on edge, Mr. Hamilton made an aggressive move towards him and his safety as a member of the force was paramount. Use of stun guns has increased 200% in the last six months as police realize how fun it is to make internet clips of people shaking violently on the ground. This is Weasel News. This is Weasel News. We like our synthesizers. Synthesizers taught us a lot. That you don't, don't need people to make music. Vice City FM.
Liberty City. It burns sometimes. I'm going to call tech support and make phone sex with a woman in India. Maybe she will send Fernando a new laptop. It happens all the times. Do you try it? Fernando is starving. I get the food poisoning last night. I like this three meat too much. It reminds me of home, a dirty immigrant trying to poison you. This makes you think about life when your sphincter is on fire. And fire is what we have with the music. Fire and keyboards and guitars and music videos with big hair and everybody in a warehouse. And somebody is welding and sluts are dancing. And then there is a thunderstorm and a man with a piano on his thigh. This, this was civilization. And what have we now? Reality TV and weight loss shows? My heart, it is broken into a thousand pieces.
so is the clap. And trust me, I know the difference. One you feel before, the other after. This is another pearl of wisdom for me, Fernando Martinez. Maybe you are thinking the government is spying on you. They are reading your email. They know of the little Latina you are text messaging, saying you are rock hard with passion. Then you realize you text messaged the wrong person. Now your best friend thinks you are gay. Life is full of surprises. suburban doll when you can have a little bitch. Yay! Little bitches! Little bitches are dolls that dress slutty, act brainless, and care only about clothes, gossip, and materialistic things. It's a lesson for life. Girls want dolls that make them feel hot. Right, Madison? Right, Dad? God, you've got an ass on you. Is that a new little bitches doll you've got? She's a little tart. She comes with an STD, and she dresses like a hooker. They only care about looks, money, and fashion. Great! being a little bitch. Little bitches. Collect the complete set. Frisky Felicity, Naughty Natasha, Tessa Tart, Buxom Bianca, Awful Anastasia, Delicious Destiny, Bootalicious Barbara, and Harry Hillary. Available wherever toys are sold. Here's the song sung by the people who wrote them before they got sung by the reality TV contestants. Vice City FM. Must 
of globalization and the downturn in the economy has hit a lot of American industry very hard. One industry that's particularly suffering due to cheap foreign imports is the American porn industry. Mike Whiteley is on the set of a local pornographic film shoot. Oh, oh man, look at that. Oh, yeah. Uh, are we on the air? <clears throat> Some of these young ladies may have dreams of Vinewood stardom. 
Others claim to be doing it just to get through college. But the good old American porn star may soon be a thing of the past unless government steps in with a bailout. If you're happy watching foreign crotch rather than good old-fashioned American beaver, then you're getting the country you deserve. We implore lawmakers to protect this vital part of the American economy until the credit crunch eases and people can pay to play once more. I never thought I'd see the day when double penetration was outsourced to Asia. I'm disgusted by what I'm witnessing. These people are peddling smut. Mike Whiteley, Weasel News. Hey, uh, hey, bud. I get the uh, DVD when it comes out. Movie ticket sales are in the crapper as consumers are coming to realize that most American movies suck. But officials say that many consumers are being duped and conned by home theater systems. Jenny Acorn outside a home theater store. That's right, Jim. Many Americans are being conned by surround sound. Home theater systems are deluding film fans that many recently released movies are good when they are, in fact, terrible. Movie studios are adding lots of rumbling bass, car chases, and action scenes to romantic comedies. As research shows, men will watch even the lamest chick flick if it's in surround sound. Jenny Acorn, Weasel News. This is Weasel News. Celebrating the music that got eaten. God damn it. In your cassette deck from the city that ruled the world for a decade, it's Vice City FM.
is down crazy. I had lots of money once. I could buy anything. A snakeskin rug, a toothbrush made from diamonds, a woman to spank you. I miss 1986. Where are you? Who is this Mr. Bonzi? I hear so much about him. I am a wise man, a schemer, a dreamer of dreams. I ask you to be patient, to wait for me to call or email you from Nigeria requesting a bridging loan. And soon, you too can be rich, both in love and experience. My new, new beginnings will amaze you. It will determine if you are a man prowling the world for a kill or a mouse caught in the trap. I love you, Senor Panzi.
from having sex with a fat woman. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday night. Oh no, no, he's on his way. My drunk uncle's come to town. Sit on my lap. Let's take a nap. Let me just pull these down. Ah, go screw yourself. That's what you should do. You better not think of telling your mom. She'll probably just blame you. My drunk uncle, my drunk uncle, I have to sleep on my tummy. My drunk uncle, my drunk uncle, his hands make me feel funny. My drunk uncle, my drunk uncle, he smells like whiskey. My drunk uncle, my drunk uncle, I'm headed to therapy. My drunk uncle, the new cartoon coming to CCC. May not be suitable for minors. You want class, style, and sophistication? You're in the wrong place. This is Vice City FM.
getting some clouds right now in the area. Should stay around for a bit, then they'll move out quickly. Probably fuck your best friend and leave you paying the cable bill. Trip Michaels, Weasel Weather. Remember when we thought the, the, the 80s, 80s, 80s were lame? That's because we hadn't lived through this decade yet. Vice. Vice City FM.
The musical on Star Junction that tells the true lives of hamsters. It's always the same. It's always the same. I run on this wheel. He runs on that wheel. My life is empty. You're a shit pet. Shit Shit pet. Hamster Harem, the musical that will have you wincing with tears and joy. What's the condom for? Oh no. Hamster Harem is scurrying into hearts and sphincters and delighting audiences. Tickets only $250. Charge by phone or buy online and pay a $20 service charge. See it today. From the generation that destroyed the ozone layer to the generation that's ignoring global warming, it's Vice City FM. Showing us that the 80s have never gone away. One of my favorites. If you need a friend, don't look to a stranger. You know in the end, I'll always be there. And when you're in doubt, and when you're in danger, take a look all around. I'll be there I'm sorry but I'm just thinking of the right words to say I promise I know they don't sound the way I planned them to be But if you wait around 
Sponsors in Payola are how Fernando makes money. Domestic violence is always wrong. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> But you can make it right with flowers. Nothing else says, sorry I kicked you in the stomach, better than flowers. That's right. And right now, all florists in the Liberty City area are having their make it right sale. Nothing says love like a genetically modified plant grown hydroponically in chemicals by peasants in Honduras. You may have done wrong. It's time to make it right. Send flowers. A message from your local florist and the Florist Alliance Group. You've got a mountain of snow. A cheap machine gun and a mobile phone the size of a briefcase. Sounds like a good time. Vice City FM.
you are listening to Vice City FM, taking you on a trip to a better time, a time when America used to win at things, when we won the Cold War by arming Afghanistan, when we beat Russian boxers by jogging in the woods, when a welder could become a dancer, when a poor immigrant could become, through the power of music, a guru to a generation. Now? Now I am on a register. I cannot go within five miles of a school. I am in the wilderness, people, and my heart is in a thousand pieces. Boys. 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 songs and I think, Fernando, your retirement is in the shitter. A fat hairy guy has taken a shit on your future, Fernando. I don't like that. A pretty young girl who ate corn, maybe. But a fat guy? I don't want him, man. Mm -mm. First, I am a DJ in Vice City in the 80s. Then I come to Liberty City, a self-help guru. I invest in the future of women, but they shut Fernando's new beginnings down. Fernando learned from American businessmen. Set up a non-profit in the Caribbean. Funnel money offshore, buy off the politicians, and you will be a real American. Soon, we have Fernando's new, new beginnings. You watch this space. Watch it. It is space. This song is a 
request from my lonely woman. You could fill your nose full of powder and your loins full of passion 24 hours a day. A man could beg, borrow, and steal his way to a fortune and be loaded for it. Now, the place is run by robots. No longer can a wise man bring to his fellows the joy of partnership, the beauty of love. People, they call me dirty words. Words like pimp and statutory rapist. But I say you are beneath me. I, Fernando Martinez, am not about nostalgia. I am not a freak show, playing to your memories of better times. I am the American dream, a self-made man bringing happiness, capturing fire. In 1965, Vietnam seemed like just another foreign war, but it wasn't. It was different in many ways, and so were those who did the fighting. In World War II, the average age of the combat soldier was 26. In Vietnam, he was 19. In, 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 in Vietnam, he was 19. In Vietnam, he was 19. In Vietnam, he was 19. Going on. 
the arrival of Republican Space Ranger action figures only at Burger Shot. They're more fun than computer games. Action figures are back. When you order a heart stuffer kids meal and an 84 ounce sprunk, pick up one of these cool action figures for only $9.99. Each action figure has 20 different sayings. There's Butch. Sure is fun to play with daddy's gun. The Commander. Foreigners can't be trusted. And Dick. Reading is for fucking queers. Each Republican Space Ranger action figure comes ready to fight terrorism, attack illegal immigration, and protect your freedom with a gun in one hand and a six-pack in the other. And all new, it's the Republican Space Ranger shower scene playset. Hey, baby, nice DNA dumpster. Watch the Republican Space Rangers only on Weasel and collect all the action figures only at Burger Shot. Burger Shot, die with a smile on your face. Weasel, entertainment and freedom together again. You shotgun to beer, taken off the t tops, and the wind is flying over your aerodynamically moosed hair. This is Vice City FM. How can I explain when there are few words I can choose? How can I explain? When words get broken Do you remember There was a time When people on the street Were walking
monster in this town, but I love you, Liberty City. music on, you are romancing this young girl. Soon, you make the beast with two bags. Oh, yes. But then, a man with a TV camera shows up and says she is underage, and what do you have to say for yourself? This is a trick. Listen to the decade of decadence, right here on Vice City FM. The world is my oyster.
stars never stop Shooting stars never stop Even when they reach the top Here goes the supernova Commercials are all we have left in the world That and swine flu from having sex with a fat woman You're partying with some friends. After three days of smoking ice and swapping partners, a man's got to get some shut-eye. Maybe you left the gas oven on or fell asleep smoking a cigarette, and next thing you know, boom! You're homeless and wanted for manslaughter. Not with VIG Insurance. Call one of our claim representatives immediately, and we'll deal with the law and forensics and get rid of any unfortunate evidence or unwanted allegations. You've just lost a home and some close friends. Why lose your freedom? VIG Insurance. Because freedom equals peace of mind. You're working nuts off every day. A proud American all the way. Life is just a merciful blur. When you pop a piss wasser, piss wasser, this is beer. Drop drunk off the pier. I love drinking all day long. I beat my girlfriend while I sing this song. Piss wasser, cheap German lager for export only. Here's the music that music producers have been ripping off for the past 10 years. Vice City FM. The message is perfectly simple The meaning is clear Don't ever stray too far and don't I sing this song to my cat and Don't disappear Ever had the feeling Almost broken too Said that you were leaving Like you do you do century the same way we did in the 
the 20th century by crying into the mirror then falling asleep on the bathroom floor. Right now, it'll probably clear up at some point, though you might look into slashing your wrists. Julie McCafferty, Weasel Weather. It was the decade where Vice City was the capital of the world. Vice City FM. Vice City FM.
take a little break. We don't want to finish too soon. My God, she had blood all over her legs. The car was totaled, and she's sitting there, and she's still drinking. This chick used to be a celebrity. Oh my God, he's so high. He'll never make it on stage. You just can't help getting sucked in on the way down. The number one rated reality show is coming back for another season. Waning with the Stars, the show where we follow formerly big celebrities on their way down. Five contestants, one fading dream, a ton of alcohol and drug abuse. Waning with the Stars is the ultimate reality show, because like in reality, everyone likes you. Then you turn into a depressed, drug-addled mess. Enjoy watching once smug celebrities who have hit rock bottom. Stay there. Waning with the Stars, a new season coming soon on Weasel. Here's the song sung by the people who wrote them before they got sung by the reality TV contestants. Vice City FM. It's worked so far, but we're not out yet. I want to know what you're thinking. There are some things you can't hide. I want to know what you're feeling. Tell me what's on your mind.
that you are going to worry. But it is time for the news. Weasel News. They used to be accidents of nature that were quietly placed in a bag with rocks and tossed in the river. Now, designer hybrid dogs are all the rage. And the smaller, the better. Jenny Acorn, who I'm pretty sure is fucking my husband, is on the scene. Like crack babies, so-called teacup dogs are deliberately inbred to be tiny runts, just so they'll fit in the latest handbag. Now, in an attempt to nip the mini mutt craze in the bud, the American Canine Association has announced new size and weight minimums. Effective immediately, all dogs below 4 pounds and 7 inches in length are to be reclassified as rodents. This pet store owner says he makes a lot of money selling designer dogs. We have Labradoodles, Puggles, all kinds of cute genetic freaks of nature. I breed them myself. I'm a Labradoodle fluffer. What? It's not creepy. I love tiny dog penis. In Alderney, Jenny Acorn, Weasel News. In financial news, thanks to the investment dickheads in the exchange, this reporter's retirement is officially in the shitter. With the government bailing out the rich and taking a big bald eagle dump on the poor, brokers and hedge fund managers are out in mass this week, protesting what they call unfair treatment by the news media. Mike Whiteley at the scene. This hedge fund manager is protesting in the only way he knows how, by throwing people's investments down a street sewer drain into the muck below. We've had it with getting picked on. You want to see your investments disappear? Watch this. 20 grand of an elderly retired couple's pension. Whoops, there it goes. I dropped it in the sewer. Here's an auto worker's IRA. Aw, shucks. Accidentally dropped it. We won't stop throwing American investors' money down the toilet until our bonuses are reinstated. And this unfair moratorium on private jets is lifted. Reporting from the financial district, Mike Whiteley, Weasel News. This is Weasel News. From the generation that destroyed the ozone layer to the generation that's ignoring global warming, it's Vice City FM, showing us that the 80s have never gone away.
and I say yes, I am very pro-sex. And for that, they put me on trial. Can you believe it? Everything is wonderful. Being here is heavenly. Every single day she says, everything is free. I used to be so careless. As if I couldn't care less. Did I have to make this place when I was Mary's friend? Suddenly the heavens roll. the next episode of Hysterical Home Videos. Grandma and Grandpa caught on tape. Oh. 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 You'll laugh till you puke at kids doing all kinds of zany things. Like Jimmy plays with a fork in the breaker box and goes blind. And Dad shuts his nuts in the car door. Whoa, those are going to be sore for a while. Five-year-old Tommy horsing around in front of the riding lawnmower. Mom's vibrator short circuits. <laughs> Laugh till you cry as people permanently maim themselves. Hysterical home videos. Thursday night at 7 Eastern on CCC. Celebrating the music that got eaten. God damn it. Eaten in your cassette deck. From the city that ruled the world for a decade. It's Vice City FM. <laughs>
powders. And you can get powders and potions made out of endangered animals that can make you like a raging rhino. Not that I need that, you know. Doppler 10,000 squared showing a ridge of rain right now over the city. Five-day forecast, maybe clouds tomorrow or a high of 85. Could have some local flooding or water shortages. Like I fucking know. You want class, style, and sophistication? You're in the wrong place. This is Vice City FM.
house and say, are you Fernando Martinez? And I say, I have terrible news, but your father is dead. I'm just a janitor. In the 80s, I always listened to new shoes. if the woman is exciting and liberated. And on that note, let's head up to Weasel and hear some news. Weasel News. 
Emoticons, they're a cancer on the hellish highway of the internet where nerd fanboys run amok like post-apocalyptic gangs, slaughtering anyone who has a different opinion or tries to earn an honest living. And emoticons got President Lawton in a heap of trouble with a foreign official. Reports say the president had a bottle of red wine and sent Italy's prime minister an email that included the emoticon for brain dead. Offended, the prime minister texted the president to take his mother as a lover. Officials are not LOLing. Mike Whiteley, Weasel News. Social networking site My Room is a great place to pretend you have tons of friends but secretly cry and start cutting yourself. The social networking site is responsible for another tragedy when Ardeen Hertova burned down the house of his next door neighbor. Police say it was due to the neighbor defriending him on his My Room page, which, according to Mr. Hertova's traditional upbringing, is a public disgrace that must be responded to. Officials assured us the internet brings out the best in people. I'm Lori D'Angelo Stockton. Weasel News. This is Weasel News. Here's the music that music producers have been ripping off for the past 10 years. Vice City FM.
Chip Buddy, Sponsors and Payola are how Fernando makes money. Why be a little girl when you can be a little vixen? Why play with dolls when you can play with a little bitch? Little Bitches, the dolls, clothes, and lifestyle craze that is sweeping through America. These little girls grew up so fast. Now their dolls do too. It's great. Mom, have you seen my thong or nipple tassels? My little Mackenzie wants a doll who's self-sufficient and empowered and earns money by shaking it. After all, if you've got it, flaunt it. Right, Mackenzie? Right, Dad. Can you get your hand off my private parts? Little Bitches. Little Bitches. The dolls every girl wants. Available wherever toys are sold. Brainless decadence. Cheap synthesizers. Cheap synthesizers. And suntans. The rest of the world has moved on. Vice City hasn't.
saved, all the lives I have changed, and yet I am cast aside by society. How is that fair? How is that right? I saved marriages. I brought happiness to people everywhere. Do you know, Liberty City used to be a lot more fun. In the old days, you could fill your nose full of powder and your loins full of passion 24 hours a day. A man could beg, borrow, and steal his way to a fortune and be loaded for it. Now, the place is run by robots. No longer can a wise man bring to his fellows the joy of partnership, the beauty of love. People, they call me dirty words. Words like pimp and statutory rapist. But I say you are beneath me. I, Fernando Martinez, am not about nostalgia. I am not a freak show playing to your memories of better times. I am the American dream. A self-made man bringing happiness, capturing fire. Maybe one day this will happen to Fernando. It's Go West. I don't need to fall at your feet Just cause you cut me to the bone And I won't miss the way that you kiss me We were never carved in stone If I don't listen to
now, some good news for haters of the designer cupcake. Of all the dumb trends to take over this city, the fascination with cupcakes may be the dumbest. A recent study by two PhD students on consumer demographics revealed that the line outside a cupcake store contained more pathetic specimens of humanity than any other retail location. Of the approximately 50 tragic individuals who had been standing in line for over an hour to spend $15 on cutesy pink frosted chocolate passion fruit balls of red velvet, nine out of ten fell into the category of people we'd like to kill. Mike Whiteley, Weasel News. With approval numbers flagging in recent months, Mayor Ochoa has decided to launch a radical new plan to rid the Liberty City subway system of its rat infestation. He called it the sinking ship solution and said the subway system will be shut and flooded so that all of the rats, homeless people, annoying underground musicians, and other vermin will be drowned and flushed into the river. He also indicated this is a great way to clean the subway so they don't smell like pee. Peeing in the subway, I'm Jenny Acorn, Weasel News. What are you fucking looking at? I gotta go! This is Weasel News.